<laughs> What's up, my friends? It's time for an unboxing, and I'm super stoked because uh, these just dropped uh, just a couple days ago, and I have been just dying to get my hands on one of these for a long time. And today I get to unbox. Now, I cheated a little bit because uh, I couldn't wait. I'll just be straight up with you. I, I just couldn't wait to open these up. So, um, got the new red bag are, uh, from LJ, right out supply. What do you mean it's red bag? He updated his, uh, his inventory of bags. So, um, kind of threw me off when I opened up the, uh, the mailbox. So, uh, if you, if you're expecting some stuff from right out supply and LJ and you see the fresh red bag, that's what it is. So first, so I reach in the bag of goodies. Uh, got myself a RIP to the haters uh, handlebar bag or handlebar loop. I don't know, what do you call that? Like it's, I don't know, it's a bracelet that you put on handlebars. But I got two of them. And fresh green, what up? And the super dope message from LJ. I'm a grown ass man and I keep these because I think they're dope. Um, and LJ is a big part of the community. So just imagine like, for some, I keep putting this in front of my face. I shouldn't do that. But imagine uh, you have, I'm trying to think of a good example, Mike Buff. When I was riding and I was like 12, 13 years old, Mike Buff had a, uh, a little like company where he made, uh, I think it was like M MBD, Mike Buff Designs. He made something called a Buff Guard, which was a little piece of plastic that protected, it went around the front brake, uh, caliber bolt, and uh, caliber, caliper bolt, and uh, it protected your shoes when you were doing tail whips and stuff like that, hops and things like that. And so imagine if when I bought that, because I did buy one, um, I had a little thing from Mike Buff that said, hey, thanks for your support. I would be super stoked. I'd probably have it on my wall because that dude's a legend. LJ is going to be Mike Buff uh, for you if you are, you know, if you stick with this sport. When you're my age, you're going to look back and you'll be like, I used to buy stuff from Mike Buff. And you'll be, you'll be able to say you bought stuff from LJ. So super stoked on that. And I got myself a fresh little tag with my Instagram name. Kind of cool. I didn't know you had some writing skills there, LJ. Good up on you. And what else is in here? I can feel stuff. I just pulled the main bag out. Oh, this is a little bit of a preview of what you're about to see. Got some green ride out stickers. So my red, my big ripper, my red big ripper uh, is very, you've seen it. It's red, but it has all those crazy 80s colors and the 80 color, 80s color scheme on it with the freestyling sticker that I also got from Ride Out Supply. And uh, so when I saw these, he, he kind of did a preview, hey, these are coming out. So had to, had to snatch one up. Um, there's nothing wrong with the sprocket I have now. I just want one that's super dope and uh, better quality. Um, so I trust LJ and I trust Ride Out Supply. If you talk to them, send them a message, like, that dude is an encyclopedia of bike tech knowledge. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy how smart that dude is um, and, and what, he, like, what he knows. He's forgot more about like, bike tech than I've ever known. And I'm like twice his age, so it's impressive. So first thing you'll notice, uh, got that fresh new... I post this on the Instagram, that fresh new authentic sticker from Ride Out. If you go over to Big Bike BMX on Instagram, you can see the video of that, that cool hologram. Now, here is my sprocket. It is black, and this is painted black, powder coated. And then when you flip it over, da -da -da, it's got that green Ride Out supply. Make sure I'm doing that right. Ride out supply badge on it. I don't know if that light's going to get the reflective or if it's just going to show up reflective because the light's on. But it's green. It's got all kinds. There it goes. It's got all kinds of fresh. 
looks to it. <clears throat> I tried to say that funny, and then it just sounded like I was my voice cut out and cracked. So this is for my uh, this is for my big ripper. So it is a thirty three tooth. 33 to 35. We'll find out. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> I went to a site. You can select your bike and it tells you. This is just going to replace the stock the stock uh, gearing that I'm running right now on my Big Ripper on the, on the sprocket. I did change my free wheel to a 17 because I want it to pedal a little bit easier than uh, the 15 tooth uh, free wheel that came on my Big Ripper. So... Um, I'm going to get in close on this because that sticker, I know it's a sticker, but that thing, it looks like it's laser etched on there. Like that's how good they cut that and placed it on there. I don't know how they did that. So perfect. That's impressive. So I, uh, I'm going to get to now. I'm going unbo to unbox this. Uh, I'm going to make a little video of actually installing this on my bike because it takes about 10 minutes if you know what you're doing. And I think I can get that done pretty quick before it gets too dark. I'm looking outside. Yeah, I can get to that. So I'm going to film myself uh, putting this on my bike and then we are going to go uh, for a little bike ride. So next video, I'll probably post it up right after this one, will be installing some new sprockets on your SC bike. Um, and it's the reason I say SC bike is because that's what I have. So uh, enjoy that. LJ, good up on the, uh, the sprocket. We'll talk soon. See you later.